Hi, I'm Christine. Welcome to Keep Exploring Kids. On our channel, we are going to share some great videos that help families get together, get outside, and play. We're hoping that you'll join us as we do some story times, create some play experiences, and go on some family adventures together. My husband, my daughter, and I are in this all together, and we hope that your family will join us. If you like our videos, we hope that you'll give us a big thumbs up, hit subscribe, and of course, hit that bell notification so that you're notified every time we post a brand new video. Good morning, afternoon, whatever time you're watching this. Today's story is an old time favorite of our families. It was one of my husband's favorite growing up that his father used to read to him. And this book is really old. It's also very hard to get. So this might be the only place where you get to share it with your family. It is called, There Are Rocks in My Family socks said the ox to the fox by patricia thomas illustrated by mordecai garristine here we go there are rocks in my socks said the ox to the fox bumpy old lumpy old clumpy old rocks pinchy and squinchy when everyone walks I feel very grumpy with rocks in my socks. See here, my dear steer, said the fox to the ox. Why don't you stop grumping and take out the rocks? I must say I've noticed the longer one talks, the less time one has for taking out rocks. But, sir, there's no way, said the ox to the fox, to get rid of these rocks that are inside my socks. With my shoes underneath and my feet firmly on top, I see no way at all for removing the rocks. Let me think, said the fox to the ox with a wink. There must be a way to get rocks out of socks. Eureka! I have it. Just do a flip-flop. Put your legs in the air so your feet aren't on top of the rocks, which will then slide right out of your socks. It's a good thing I'm clever, said the ox to the fox. Yes, indeed, you are clever, said the ox to the fox. If I do a flip-flop so my feet aren't on top, then the rocks will come tumbling right out of my socks. Flip, zip, flop, plop. There's a tack in my back, said the ox to the fox. A prickly old, tickly old, stickly old tack. I really don't need this particular tack. If I found it was missing, I'd not wish it back. Furthermore, those rocks haven't budged from my socks, said the ox to the fox. Said the fox to the ox, there's no need to sigh. I'll have it solved in the blink of an eye. Quick, flick. Your tail needs your back, and you'll knock aside quickly that prickly old tack. You're lucky I'm here, said the fox to the ox. Yes, you're a great help, said the ox to the fox. With a swish of my tail, I'll give that old tack a good whack that will knock it from under my back. Swish, swish, whoosh, whoop, whoop, thump. There's a rail on my tail, said the ox to the fox. A naughty old, cloddy old, rotty old rail. I'm sure if this rail were placed on a scale, the whole thing would weigh just as much as a whale. I venture to state that in time, one would hate the very great weight of a rail on one's tail, not to mention the tack that's still in my back and all of the rocks that are still in my socks, said the ox to the fox. There, there, don't despair, said the fox to the ox, for it's true, don't you see? I'm sure you'll agree, you've no more fear as long as you've me. Your troubles are over, I swear it is true, for what else could possibly happen to you? Buzz, flip. Sit. Oh, oh. Said the ox to the fox, Thank you, my friend, for your faith that my troubles will come to an end. 
Perhaps you are right to make light of my plight, but it seems to that at that the end is not quite in sight. For here I remain with rocks in my socks and an attack in my back and a rail on my tail. And if that's not enough, I believe a large bee has decided to stop and rest on my knee. And that makes me uneasy, in fact, somewhat queasy. For a large bee is a thing with a very large sting. Uh-oh. Said the fox to the ox. Yes, it does seem to me you'd rather, you, you'd be, look, you'd much better, you'd be much better off without that large bee. However, because I'm so clever, I instantly see a way to remove that large bee from your knee. Just be quick. Kick your toes in the air toward your nose, which will shake your knee free of the unwelcome bee. Of course, said the ox. How stupid of me. It's remarkably easy to shake off a bee. Flick, kick, zap, whap. Said the fox to the, said the ox to the fox, you've observed, I suppose, that I seem to have kicked myself in the nose. Meanwhile, the large bee, not choosing to flee, has been startled instead into stinging my knee, which is, I confess, quite unpleasant for me. What's more, with these rocks still stuck in my socks and the tack in my back and the rail on my tail, I do believe it's fair to state that my situation is less than great. Skippity, hippity, hop, stop. My word, said the bird, my eyes must be blurred. I've never seen anything quite so absurd. A big grown-up ox with his back on a tack and a rail on his tail and a bee on his knee gives his own nose a whack. Please don't go, Mr. Fox. As for you, Mr. Ox, would you care to relate how you got in this state? It's a rather long story, said the ox to the bird. It's hard to explain everything that's occurred. I believe it again when my friend here, the fox, who is an expert at getting out rocks out of one's socks, said the bird to the ox, you really must say, you're going about it in a very strange way. Why not simply roll over, lift your back off the tack, then slide your tail from out from under the rail and straighten your knee, which so obviously will set the bee free. Mumble, tumble, roll. Bless my soul. Now take off your shoes, then take off your socks. Try wiggling your toes, then dump out the rocks. Next, put back each sock and put back each shoe, which will, which is all, Mr. Ox, that you needed to do. Is it true what I've heard, said the ox to the bird? All I needed to do to get rid of these rocks was to take off my shoes and empty my socks? Of course, said the bird. Giggle, wiggle, bump, 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 thump, wump, lump. I believe, said the ox, I might, it might well be said that my friend the fox has rocks on his head. Isn't this a cute book? I love it. And my family does too. Now, when I hear this story, one of the things that I think of and ways that I think of to play is to do some yoga. So we are going to link to another YouTube channel to encourage you to get out and do some yoga and try some funny poses like Mr. Ox did, trying to get all those things undone. Check out Cosmic Kids Yoga. We have no affiliation to them, but it is a channel that we have been looking at and trying out the poses from, and it is fun and engaging and a great way to grab some exercise if you can't get outside. It's raining here today, so it might be a great way to get things going today. Um, and we will see you all soon with another story. Have a great day. Bye.